Hello everybody, welcome back to another Helldivers 2 video. Today, we're going to be talking about the Slugger. Is it worth spending your hard earned medals on? Are you wasting your time trying to get it? We're going to talk about that today. Let me know down in the comments how you guys feel about this shotgun, but with that, let's get straight into it. The Slugger shotgun is different than every other shotgun in the game as it only fires slugs, just as the name suggests. Now, you won't unlock this shotgun until you get to page 8 of the War Bond, and even then it's going to cost you a whopping 60 medals. Now the gun only claims to have light armor penetration, but upon further testing I've noticed it has medium armor penetration and a way higher damage output than it claims. After doing some missions with the Slugger shotgun, I've noticed two very major flaws with the gun. The first being it's very easy to get overwhelmed with it. Now the problem with that is it is a pump action shotgun and that speaks for itself, but the second being that the slugs seem to have no pass through and can only take down whatever enemy you are aiming at. Now that's not a huge issue, this is easily mitigated and we'll talk about that later. But the second issue is the recoil. The recoil on this gun is insane. Every time you fire a shot on target, it wants to pull high and to the right, making your next shot on target near impossible. You can mitigate this a little bit by crouching, but it is still very hard, especially when you are in the heat of battle. I tried to make it a little bit easier on myself by remapping the crouch button away from C and putting it on my mouse so I could just second nature click it with my thumb, but I still found myself forgetting to hit it to crouch so I could get my aim on target, and I was whiffing shots left and right with this thing. Now back on the topic of getting overwhelmed. You are going to get overwhelmed with this weapon, and you're going to get overwhelmed with every weapon. Because in this game, it seems like a rite of passage to get overwhelmed by unrelentless hordes of enemies whose only goal in life is to take you off playing a super earth. But, if you want to try to mitigate that even a little bit, you should just try changing up your strategies like I did. When I first came into it with the slugger, I was running it like it was a breaker. I would run a shield backpack and a railgun. The railgun did not help at all. I was continuing to get overwhelmed, I could not take out small enemies, and the shield backpack only delayed the inevitable by giving me one or two more hits before they inevitably got me. So I changed it up. With a new plan of attack, I came into the game running the slugger, the redeemer is my secondary because as so far there is no other secondary that's viable in this situation, and I would run impact grenades. The impact grenades made a really big difference, because every time a strider came near me, I could not shoot through its medium armor with my slugger like I would a railgun, so I would throw an impact grenade, and if I placed that impact grenade well enough, I could take out two, probably three striders before moving on. Now for the stratagems, I would run a guard dog and an arc thrower. The guard dog would take down any small enemy that got within the vicinity of me, and the arc thrower, even though I have a love-hate relationship for it, I tend to love it now. It would take down any small enemy I have. If I ran out of ammo, I could pull that thing out and have unlimited ammo, taking down other small enemies and having another way to take down bigger enemies. But for the heavies, I would run other stratagems. The last two are pretty personal preference, but for me, I would run a nuke and an orbital laser because that's just how I am. I like the nuke for heavy damage, and I like the laser for taking out hordes or also taking out heavy enemies. With this new update though, I noticed that the nuke tends to bounce off the backs of the Bile Titans, so just be weary of that. But overall, I think the weapon is great, and I may not have liked it at first because of its inability to clear crowds and its god-awful recoil, but with some slight modifications and changing things around, I was able to overcome that, and I found myself using this gun a lot more. It does play way differently than the Breaker, but I personally enjoy that. I like having to think about what I'm doing going into a mission and change my playstyle to make things more enjoyable for myself. Now, if you guys have a better build, I would love to hear it. Let me know down in the comments. Let everybody else know. I want to try new things. I don't think what I have given you here is the best overall build, but from my short time with this weapon, it was the most effective. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye.